What's up you guys, this is Vinsanity and welcome to another episode of Professional Development for Artists. Today we're going to be talking about none other than time management. Now time management is one of those little things that people tend to overlook, but to me personally I think that time management is literally one of the keys to success. If you look at people who are generally successful and people who are generally not successful, one big difference is that these people know how to manage their time wisely and also very effectively. So today we're going to be talking about a couple simple strategies on managing our time. Now we're gonna talk about a couple basics and I'm gonna talk about old school. Back in the day, we all had a little planner and in the planner we wrote down literally everything that we're gonna do. So for example, when I was in college, I would write down every class that I had, my homework for each class, and then I would write what I had to do each day. And literally I'd follow that schedule through that book, right? Now, we have something better. A couple years later, I got a cell phone and pretty much everybody in the world started having cell phones and every cell phone also had a calendar that you could pretty much pencil in everything that you're doing which kind of replaced the old school planner personally at that point I still liked the planner I still liked writing stuff down it helped me remember what I was doing but more recently this thing came out called Google Calendar which to me is amazing there's so many things you could do you could sync it across devices your cell phone your tablet your computer it's basically your calendar is online where you could pencil in every little thing that you want and it'll sync across devices and at the same time it'll give you reminders on what's happening and there's so many amazing things I could tell you about Google Calendar, but I'll have to save that for another day. Right now, I'm gonna show you guys some basic scheduling techniques on how to make sure we get to each event in our day on time and get there effectively. So the first thing that we got to figure out is our start time. Start time is basically the time that you wanna be at work. For some people it's early, some people it's later, but I'm gonna use an example of my personal day to help you guys understand this. So, I work in the city of Santa Clarita, at 8 in the morning. On average, it takes me about an hour to get to Santa Clarita, but I don't want to show up at 8 a.m. because if I showed up at 8 a.m., I'm pretty much late. That's the time I have to start teaching my class. So I want to get there at 7.45, and there's a saying that kind of helps reinforce this, and that is, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late, and if you're late, you're fired. And that's why we want to manage our time, because we don't want to get fired. So, 8 a.m. start time, we want to get there by 7.45. Now, there's another effective tool that's going to help you figure out how to get there by 7.45, which is called Google Maps. Now, on most phones, it won't allow you to actually figure out the time. If you go on a computer and type in your destination and where you're coming from, you could actually select the time that you want to get to your destination, so 7.45, and it'll tell you, based on average traffic, what time you need to leave. So for me, it tells me that it's gonna take on average about an hour to get to Santa Clarita. So I need to leave by 6.45. Now there's one thing that's also a little bit tough and that is this unpredictable traffic. And anyone who lives in a busy city knows that there's just traffic that just happens. And there's been days where it took me two hours to get to work because of some unpredictable traffic. So what I wanna do is add a 15 minute cushion time. And I know that's it's not a lot, but it'll definitely help compensate if there is an unpredictable accident or slowdown that causes you to be late. So now I'm actually gonna to try to leave by 6.30 in order to get there by 7.45 and be able to start at 8 a.m. So now we have to figure out what time do we need to wake up in the morning in order to be ready to leave by 6.30. Now, every single person is different. Some people get ready in 20 minutes, some people take an hour, some people take a couple hours. Every single person is different. But what I want you guys to think about is how long is it gonna take you to get up, get ready, get dressed, brush your teeth, do your hair, all that stuff, and eat something. And if you don't, after a couple hours, you're gonna start feeling really, really bad. And this is something that a lot of people tend to just cut out of their daily schedule is when should they eat. Any job that you work for will leave you time to eat because it's required by law. But as an independent contractor, as an independent artist, sometimes you forget about that. So make sure you leave it in your schedule to eat a good breakfast. 
So now we have our basic schedule out. We're gonna set our alarm to wake us up at 5.30 in the morning. And that's just for me, personally, I like to take an hour. I like to feel comfortable getting ready. I don't like to rush myself. And I like to walk out the door feeling fully awake. So I'm gonna wake up at 5.30 in the morning, leave by 6.30. Then I'm gonna drive roughly an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to try to get there by 7.45. And if I get there early, well then guess what? I get to go get coffee or something. From 7.45 to, to 8, I'm getting ready. I'm setting up my, my music. I'm getting myself mentally prepared. And at 8 a.m., I'm starting my class. From there, I'm gonna be teaching a three classes back to back. So I don't really need to worry about any of that stuff because it's literally this already planned out with the school. But after those three classes, I have to drive about 15 minutes to my second school. And this is where scheduling, again, is really important because if I don't leave enough time for me to get to that school on time, then again, I'm gonna look really bad because I'm gonna be late. And because it's set in the schedule, I'm gonna be late all the time. So what I wanna do is figure out what's the average distance. I'm gonna use Google Maps, to figure out during that time how long it's gonna take me. It says 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna add a 15 minute cushion time. So I'm gonna leave myself 30 minutes to get to that class. This is basically the, kind of the process you wanna go through when scheduling stuff throughout your day. Give yourself a nice cushion time, figure out the drive time, and just make sure you're able to get there always on time. Lastly, I wanna mention another thing that you really wanna put into your schedule, and that's lunch. Sometime around 11 to 1 p.m. Give yourself 30 minutes to eat. Right? So if, if your last class ended at, say, 11.30, try to schedule your next class for 12.30 so that you could drive 15 to 30 minutes and have about 30 minutes to eat. This is really important because if you guys are not keeping up with your personal nutrition, your body will wear out. Your mind will not be there completely. It might be okay for a couple weeks. It might be, you might be fine doing this for a couple years, but after a while, you're gonna really start damaging your body. So make sure you leave yourself enough time to eat in the morning, eat lunch, and also eat dinner. And if you're like me and you sometimes get hungry randomly, pack yourself some snacks, have that in your bag, have it in your backpack so that you know you can eat throughout the day. Now that we have some basics on time management, what I want you guys to do is write out your entire schedule on a planner or on Google Calendar, whatever's easier for you, and figure out where you have free time in your day. So for example, if you're working from eight in the morning to three and then you have to do uh, something at nighttime, you can kind of figure out where in your day you have free time, whether it be time to work on your business, time to you know cold call new clients, or time to research you know new places that you could be working at. Find time for that stuff because as a professional artist, you are your own business entity. And if you don't take that serious enough to put your time and energy into it, then you probably are not gonna be very successful. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I just wanna say a big thank you to Jord Watches, J-O-R-D, uh, for supplying me with this watch and supporting this video. Um, this watch is actually made out of wood, which is actually really cool to me because I come from a family of woodworkers, um, and I grew up doing woodwork, so um, I've always actually wanted to have a watch made out of wood. If you guys wanna get your own Jord wooden watch, you guys could actually click the link below where you can enter a contest to win one for free. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you guys manage your time wisely. Peace.